teaching you how to solve a 3 by 3 Rubik's Cube. Want to learn it? Then come on! Before learning to solve the cube, let us understand the basics of a Rubik's Cube. So there are three types of pieces in a normal Rubik's Cube. A corner piece, an edge piece and a middle piece. A corner piece is a piece that has three colors. Corner piece moves only to a corner. For example, this white, orange and green corner. We move it here, it moves to another position which is another corner. So that is what a corner piece is. Now let us look at an edge piece. This is an edge piece, white and orange. They have two colors. So edges move only to edges. Corners move to only corners. So it corners, suppose this corner cannot move to an edge. That is not possible. And now the final piece, which is the middle piece. As, as told in the word, middle piece is always in the middle. However you move it, white is always opposite to yellow. Green is always opposite to blue and orange is always opposite to red and now let us begin solving the cube before that let us scramble this up okay let's shuffle it up okay it has given it's been given a good shuffle so now we must first pick a color to start on i usually pick pick yet white so First, let so white. So, we, the to know what color a side is, you must first understand that if there is white in the middle piece, white should be here. Now, before we start, let us understand the notations. Notations are nothing but a move that represents one side. So, let me explain to you. This is the right side. This is the left side. This is the back side and this is the down side, this is the up side and finally this is the front face meaning front, right, left, down, the up and back. So these are the six sides. So suppose if I tell R, you mean R you have to do it counterclockwise. If I tell R Counterclockwise, you have to move the right side one turn the counterclockwise. So that's all about the notations. And now let us move on to solving the cube. So first, we must pick a side. So we have picked white. So our first step is to solve, is to make a white cross and making the edge pieces match to their correct middle piece. So first, let us locate um. There is one, one piece already in the center. So let us line that up to the blue. And now we have done one. Now let's find the next piece. It's right here. So this piece needs to go, needs to come here. So what we do is, we rotate, it needs to go here. So we rotate the top side twice and bring the piece in and rotate it back twice. So now we see that we have this put in place and this put in place and they're correctly orientated now let's find another piece it's right here so now let's match it to the there is a red and white piece so let's orient let's move it to the red side and now let us do this so we do this following f u l l i or left counterclockwise and bring it back so now we have orientated white white and blue white and blue white and red and and white and orange now let's find the last piece okay it's right here so now we just need to do this we need to rotate it twice and move it up and rotate it backwards twice and now we have completed our first stage now let me show you some common mistakes made. So now these are some common mistakes made. So now when we when we try to orient the, when we try to orient this, we see that when we orient green, all the others will be mistake and only two colors will be oriented correct. So what we must do in this is that we need to switch. So what we must do is 
bring the side we want to switch downwards and move the top layer twice to where we want to switch it bring the top layer and now rotate it twice and bring it back so now what we have done is that we have correctly oriented all the things so these are some common mistakes made and now let us move on to the last stage of solving the white now our goal is to solve the white current correctly and we will have oriented oriented all of them all all the corner pieces and edge pieces of white so first we see that we have already oriented one piece correctly but when we see the other pieces they are all oriented wrong anyway let us find one any piece which has white on it there it is it's on the bot it's on the bottom layer what we must do is find an empty space in the white bring these two layers over bring this twice and bring the layer back so now we have made it in the down layer now we need to orient it so that we see that this needs to go it's below where it needs to go and now we see that it's oriented correct meaning like there is orange here and the, the middle orange middle piece is here so now we do the same algorithm again so we move the two layers here bring the piece in and bring it back now we see that we have oriented one correct two correct but these two need to switch so what we do is we bring this layer down we bring we move the piece away and bring it back so what we do is remove the piece from where it needs to go and orient it correctly and now it is below where it needs to go so what we do is we move this away bring this piece down and bring it here and bring it up and now we just need to do it one last time so we bring it away bring the piece bring the piece where we need to put it and put it correctly so this now we have completed the white and now let's keep the white in the bottom now this is where we need algorithms let's begin the next stage our next stage is to solve this complete layer properly by orienting them correctly and now we must look in the top layer which is the yellow layer and find a piece with a uh, edge piece without yellow in it let's search oh there it is an orange and blue piece so this is blue so let us bring it to the blue and now we have correctly made a t that is what we want and now let us look where we where this piece needs to go it needs to go here but when we so let's just turn it here no we have made a mistake we have messed up the white so let's bring it back so to bring this piece here that we must do the left algorithm and what is the left algorithm let me tell you so we bring the edge piece away first let me tell you the algorithm up counter clockwise left counter clockwise up left up f that is front u counter clockwise and f counter clockwise now we see that we have we have put the edge piece in its correct position and we have not ruined the white so let's start over this process again let's find the piece without yellow there it is so now where does this need to go this again needs to go to the left so now let us do the left algorithm again u counter u prime prime is counter clockwise so u prime l prime u l u f u i u prime and f and now we have correctly correctly oriented this now let's find let's do this we need to do this two more times so now we see that this is already correctly oriented and this needs to go to the right so we must do the right algorithm the there are two algorithms which we need to follow and this the left algorithm which we just now did is we need to do the exact opposite right now so let's do the algorithm u r u prime r prime u prime f prime u f and now we have put this piece and we finally need to do one more piece let's search for the piece it's already correctly oriented and oriented and now we must do the right algorithm once more u r u i r i 
U I F I U F. And now we have successfully successfully completed the middle layer. Now let us do the yellow side. Our goal is to solve the white yellow layer without ruining the the progress we have done. So first our first step is to do the yellow cross. First we need to we will have four four situations like this situation so friends if you have this situation right here you must do the following algorithm f u r u i r i f i now we see that we have successfully completed the yellow cross now let us see some other, some more situation there are there is one more situation there are two more situation and this is one of them you have a straight line so keep this straight line horizontal and do the following algorithm f r u r i u i and f i and we have successfully completed the cross and now we need to if you have now let's look at the last situation which you will have this is the last situation which you have so we must do this algorithm f u r u i r i and f i and now we have reached this situation and we must do this following algorithm again so f sorry f r u r r i u i and f i and now we have successfully completed the yellow cross i have this situation here so in now to do to solve now we must solve the yellow so i you must do the following following algorithm r u r i u r u u and r r i and now i have reached this situation this is the situation which you want so you must do this algorithm until you get this situation when you get this situation rotate the cube until you have this the yellow piece which you have solved at the bottom left and do the following algorithm do the following algorithm again r u r i u r u u r i now again you have to do it until you solve it r u r i u r u u r i and now again i have reached the same position and i have to do the algorithm again r u r i u r u u r so friends i have done the algorithm few time and now i have solved the yellow completely now we must solve the final layer so first let's look at have a good look okay these two corners are correct let's just match them to the red and now let's do the following algorithm so friends by doing this following algorithm you will either solve two of your corners correctly just parallel to each other or if you have one of the two of the corners already correctly oriented parallelly you must keep keep put them in the correct position and put put them behind you if you don't have any other any corner solved meaning you have solved one corner and they both are diagonal to each other you must do the following algorithm and then you will reach this position anyway let let us do the algorithm r i f r i b b r f i r i b b r r u i now you see that we have correctly oriented we have correctly oriented all the corners and now let us do the final stitch so now you must have correctly oriented all the yellow corners now it's time to orient all the yellow edges if you notice the colors red green orange and blue we see that for me 
I have not solved any color of this. If this is your situation, you can you have to do any of the following any of these algorithms. So let's begin. So I'm doing this following algorithm. You can you can be in red, you can be in any other color. So but make sure that you have yellow on top and you have yellow on top and white on bottom. So do this following algorithm. F F U L R I F F L I R U F F And now when we see we have one color solved. So keep the color which you solved behind and now we need to we see this incorrect edge and this incorrect edge needs to go to the left. So we need to do the following algorithm. F F U U I L R I F F L R I U I and F F and now we have solved the Q. Let's look at some more situations. Let us do now this piece needs to go here which is to the left. So what we need to do is F F U U I sorry L R I F F L I R U I F F and now we have solved the cube. Now let me scramble up this cube and le let me show you an example of solving. properly shuffled and now let's begin so first I'm making the cross I've correctly oriented the red I've correctly ori oriented the orange so now I've solved the white cross example solve and now you will be able to solve the 3 by 3 Roman skew. If you by heart all the algorithms I told you, you will be able to solve the 3 by 3. My, my personal best in solving the cube is 1 minute 13 seconds. Anyway, try your best in solving the cube. Thank you.